Hi, this is Takahumi Ide. I'm an interdisciplinary media artist specializing in installation with sound and light. Recently, I have begun to produce not only physical works, but also works developing in virtual space. Last year, I exhibited my video work for Art on the Marquee. They will open call again this year. And here is the outline for Art on the Marquee in 2021. The format is GIF animation. The size is the height is 90 pixel and width is 1080 pixels. The re aspect ratio is 112. And when you convert from HD video, it's gonna be 160 pixel and 1920 pixel. Maximum file size will be 5 megabyte. And maximum length of video footage is 30 seconds. I mean, GIF animation footage is 30 seconds. And max frame rate. This is very important because the hardware cannot uh, produce more than uh, five frames. So it has to be up to five frames per second. So if you, let's say if you make 30 seconds long and it's gonna be 150 frames. Since this is GIF animation outside exhibition, no sound. In this video, I will show an example of how to create a GIF animation file for the open call from 1080 HD video. I'm going to use a smartphone, Adobe Photoshop, and a little bit of painter's tape. In order to take a video footage for the unique aspect ratio 112, I want to create a template in Photoshop, then move the file to a smartphone, and physically make a frame with painter's tape on a preview monitor. Let's move on to the Photoshop. Uh, Photoshop, I'm going to open new file under the file and select uh, in a new document window, click film and video so that there is a template 19 by 1920 by 1080. So I say create. Before I do something, I'm going to save this as template underscore a o m p s t and format is photoshop save so after i save template underscore a o m dot p s t next is double click this background layer to unlock and i want to name it as frame mask Uh, I want to fill under the edit fill 50% uh, gray say ok next I want to use the uh, rectangular monkey tools to make a monkey shape so click from around here to right, click and hold and go right. And you notice that you see this uh, small rectangular shape uh, in the black rectangular shape inside. That is W and H, one said um, 1920 and the other one it's now 161, now 160. So I want to keep this, I delete it. So under the info tab, you see 1920 by 160. This is good. It's going to be the marquee. So then um, 
I want to move this in the center. So the purple line tells me this is the center. I release it. Now I want to hit delete button and I want to change the opacity of this layer 70%. Then lock the layer. I hit the delete button. So now you see the other side. I mean the transparency. And then under the layer tab opacity, I want to click this and then hit 70. So now I can see a little, you know, color behind this. So now I want to save it. Um, I want to save. After I save this, um, add one layer, select the new layer, and convert it to the background layer in background from layer under the layer menu. Add one layer. And say OK. And just make sure you have you select layer one you actually you can add one layer here too and then go menu under the layer new select background from layer so now you notice that it turns to white background and then lock So I will save it command command S or under here save. And one more save as JPEG. Um save as JPEG file. Then I want to say 19 by 10. I oh, know this is not 19. This is 16 by 160 by 1920. And save. Um, I don't care about quality. Maybe you can keep maximum. The purpose of using this is only the shape. So I hit say OK. Next step is transfer the JPEG file to your smartphone. I use AirDrop to transfer it to my iPhone. But you can email it to yourself and then open it up in your photo album or whatever. I want to open the image in a full size in your smartphone. So I transfer my uh, image to my home. And then next, I want to use the paint as tape to make a physical frame here and here. So I already have um, paint as tape and I use um, ruler and a knife and I cut to narrow I mean thin line what I can do is I use tape and then tape I tape it uh, just above the line And bottom of the line.
this doesn't need to be exact this is just a guideline for the layout so now you can take the video footage with this frame um, I just select this camera and change the video right so now I change to this video so with this between this painter's tape it's gonna be the video so I came back from uh, video shooting I use this frame and this is what I took I use slow motion this time so then I just wanted to keep the something that I want to take focus between this line so that this will uh, make easy to edit later I already transferred the video file to my computer. There is some files. Um, this time I shot slow motion video. So I have MOV and AAE together. If you open this MOV file in Photoshop, this is not gonna be the slow motion. So you need to open this QuickTime movie and QuickTime player and export as 1080p movie file this way i can open the slow motion video in photoshop if your video is just normal 1080p video format it is good to move on to the next now photoshop i still open template aom.psd In order to edit a video footage in Photoshop, I need to open a timeline window. Go window, here timeline. So now you see the timeline tab here. Then next is create video timeline. There is a um, um, arrow button here. There are two options. One is video timeline, one is frame animation. This time, I'm going to make a GIF animation based on the video footage. So I will use the video timeline. But if you want to go, if you want to create frame by frame animation, you may be able to use this timeline. But I will open this one. And select this and then click here. So now, my frame mask is top layer, and then it is the same order, and then it's audio track, but we don't need to have the audio, let's uncheck this one. From left bottom here, it said 2997 frame per second. I want to change it to 5 frame per second. On right hand side here, there uh, is a tiny menu, click this, and then set timeline frame rate. So now it's at 29.97, I want to change this one 5, hit 5, say OK. So now it becomes shortened but because this is frame so I want to stretch this out up to 
30 seconds because my final product will be 30 seconds long uh, GIF animation. So just stretch this. So it's the end 30, duration 30. So I release it. So now this is the entire uh, project. I mean the entire, uh, all the lengths of the entire project. If you cannot see this end, maybe you can change magnification bar here to stretch it out. I think this is good to me. So now I want to save this as different name under the file save as movie underscore aom psd I want to keep layer save it next step is I want to add video footage under this frame mask under the uh, file open I already have um, video files here and then I trimmed uh, each video with QuickTime player that's why I said S yes. and then I add some name that I recognize which one is which. So for instance, I want to have trunk movie. I open this. So this is a um, movie file. You see timeline here. And then length is based on this one. Even though last time I changed the frame rate 5, but this is a new window. So it's a 30 second frame per second. No, 30 frame per second. I want to move this file to the file that I created. To do this, I want to move this layer to the other one. So I want to grab this tab and then delete, hold, and then take this out and delete it. So now, I can access both this uh, layer window, layers tab, and my main one. So grab this layer, and then I press the shift key together to release it. In order to do this, I can keep this video footage, I mean layers, in the center of the main one. Okay, I have this layer. So now I want to change the layer name from layer 1 to trunk. I want to change the um, order of layer, grab layer, and then you see the highlight between frame mask and background? I release it. So you may notice that once I move my video file, video layer from top to second, and now you see through your footage under here so this is the marquee size and rest of them I don't need to use but I think I want to have a little more space between this and this line the beauty of this is I can move that image position so this is trunk layer I already select 
then if you if you ever use the um, video editing software you're probably familiar with keyframe keyframe is a like a signal that you need to move from one point to another then the keyframe start the motion from one point second keyframe probably you can tell okay move from this position to the other position that's become the animation right but in my case i just need to move this position a little bit lower doesn't need to move around so using this playhead i want to keep this one in very beginning and click this stopwatch and so now i add keyframe just make sure i this is highlight yellow in my case and then this is also selected right so i use move to and press shift key so that i can um, limit my motion and then i just move this layer a little bit low Now it's a 24 pixel. I probably want to use on the 12 pixel. So this way, even I have a gap on top here, but because this is gonna be the outside of monkey, I don't care here. But the most important part is this between this line. So move your head, play head now. This is always inside monkey frame. This is good. So I want to keep this. Next one. Oh, it's always a good idea to save. Next one, I want to open. um branch open the same thing so open a new tab so i grab this edge move this here and then grab this layer shift key and release it so now because i already selected the trunk layer adding the new layer is located um, just above the trunk layer so I named this branch and yeah this is okay But as you notice, maybe um, when I move my playhead, there's a little gap, right? Because this is already five frame per second, so it's already five frame per second. Now I want to do some transition between trunk and branch hmm. I want to check trunk first check uncheck eyeball in branch layer and see how I can start my image I think I want to Mm, I want to move. Oh no, 
I want to show trunk first and then branch next. To do this, well, one way is just change the layer order so that I change the layer order. And then branch, I want to start around here and click eyeball. So I can see after the trunk and then suddenly change the branch, right? This is okay, but I want to dramatically change. To do this, I will use opacity. So I just noticed that branch I want to start from here. Grab this edge and then move around the image that you want to start. As you notice you when you move your mouse the footage, you can see the footage where you want to start. I want to start from around here. Then move my castle here. Then playhead go to the beginning of branch. I click opacity add keyframe. Opacity you know that right hand side trunk opacity 100% this is good because I want to keep 100% from beginning until here but next um, two seconds maybe it's too long but for example I want to gradually disappear this one so I want to add one more keyframe then here still from 100%. I want to change this one to 0%. So now let's play. This is a play button. Beautiful. So this way you can um, create a transition between one one footage to the other. Um, here is the project that I created for this video. Um, I have one, two, three, four um, video that I took with my iPhone. And the first one adds a opacity keyframe from black to footage. The black is based on the background and then transition to next um, the trunk ha I as I show before a trunk I have a keyframe here the position and then opacity keyframe from here to here just one quick thing so that when you click this triangle, you can jump to the keyframe. And then you see the highlight yellow. This is nothing. If you click this triangle, jump to the next keyframe in opacity. And the next one. So I have branch. I only use opacity this one and then move and the last one crowbar again I use position and little uh, change the position and then you see the gap on top and bottom because if I keep the original position, um, I don't have many flowers. That's why I want to uh, shift a little bit lower. And then the end, maybe some people don't like the, the end of uh, dark, but um, just I did because I started from black and then 
this is the end now so entire project goes to this so only the um place no uh, gray color i'm going to export as gif animation Okay, it looks nice. So, of course, I want to save this. Next, I want to make this as GIF animation. So, but first of all, I want to change the size of this. Um, this is still 10, 1920 HD video format. I want to crop this one. I use crop tools and then um, if it is different things and then just go uh, select WH resolution. So in my case I already did but let's type 1080 px and tab key 90px tab key 72 pixel per inch this is a monitor uh, default resolution this makes you look like this because um, the photoshop automatically keep this center I think this should be fine because we kept um, the rectangular shape in the middle of the um, this area so let's say okay i'm going to convert so now we have only this small and just want i want to make sure um the size image size 1080 by 90 this looks good you can maybe check this canvas size 1080 by 90 pixels this is good looks small because I maybe yeah I this is 100% percent looks this so then so you may have a little strange line here maybe because the when you create um transparent uh, first layer frame mask maybe it's shifted a little bit so but if you take this um out the eyeball and click then uh, hide this layer then it should be fine because this is 90 by 1080 so it, it, it should be fine so now I want to save this as GIF animation under file which is hiding here export and save for web once you do this um, it takes maybe one minute or a couple of minutes it depends on the computer and shortcut key is option command shift s now i have this one opt optimized uh, two up four up if you compare with others i don't uh, compare because I, what i need to do is i need to keep the file size this indicate the final uh, product like size of the final product it's now 4.973 because i did already before uh, I tested it out with nice size and then image size 1080 90 this is correct the key point is points um, if you use before but the different setting it maybe looks like JPEG or uh, PNG 24 
um i want you know the uh the different you you notice the quality the difference between png png8 jpeg if of course these are the higher quality but we need to create animation so gif is the only place that you can save as animation and then it depends on your project um, you may be able to selective color different color it's really up to you but I use selective because then um, I can control the color number and if I add more color your file size it become bigger like 256 you have a bunch of uh, colors but same time your file getting bigger I want to reduce this one to 32 or 64 to keep uh, lower but if your uh, image is only primitive color or small number of colors you may be able to use different um, color I mean color numbers so I know this one works well with 64 so I select 64 and then 4.973 megabyte is good um, I say I don't need to have the transparency so yeah if I uncheck this transparency it become bigger so I just check this and then select no transparency desert I don't change other thing I it really depends but I you may not use the sRGB but I just check this um quality wise by cubic is just fine but this is really up to you um and then this one looping options GIF animation is good uh, work for a website and usually you see in the advertisement so they want to keep this moving forever but for us for the art on the marquee project you don't want to loop so keep this once right and then if you want to check now it's 100 percent that's why you cannot see the entire image but you can maybe reduce the size in order to see the preview just say click this one so you may notice a little noise but that's what we need to deal with in order to keep the file size small but you notice here the file um the frame maximum number is 150 because 30 seconds multiply 5 frame per second so this looks good if you want to preview um on the browser you can click this one so in my case i open up um the other browser and gives you some information here you don't need to do anything html just give you the i information 1080 90 4.973 64 color those are the settings that i did and then this is good because you can see the 100 percent it's good if you want to um, see the animation again just reload this image this is a, uh, a way to see the GIF animation if it's not set up a uh, loop okay this is good so then come back this window and then save so now I want to save this as 90 and 80 and save
Let's double check my work. Okay, so I save this one here. I use right click and open Safari. So this looks good. You may be able to add filter different things in Photoshop if you like or maybe you can reduce the color manually okay I think this is good I hope this video helps you out on the monkey project thank you so much for having me my name is Takahumi Ide if you have any question, come to see me in my live streaming channel on Twitch. I show my process of making art there. Please feel free to ask in the chat. Take care, everybody. Be well. Bye-bye.